So welcome to Techno Dad Life where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're gonna be installing MotionEye, which is a video surveillance program that we can install on our Open Media Vault server. And it's very cool because whenever there is motion, it's going to take pictures and video. And then you can look at those later. As long as, of course, you have a camera attached either to your computer or through your network. If you're new to Techno Dad Life, make sure you like and subscribe before you leave. And today's question of the day is, what do you plan on using MotionEye for? And here we go now. Okay, so to start out, we're going to install Motion Eye. And so first we're going to type in Motion Eye. And we're going to click on the first one, the G J S Shrida Motion Eye. Click on that and we're going to click on the info page, info page to bring up the information about that. Then we're going to go back and click start. Once that's done, click close. Now that we have MotionEye downloaded, we have one thing we need to take care of first. So we're going to go to Shell in the Box, click on Web Client, log in as root, and your password. Hit Enter. Okay, and so what we need to do is find the address or the name of the different uh, cameras that are attached to our computer. So. My server is actually a laptop, so it has a built-in camera, and then I also attached a USB camera to it. So there's two ways of doing this. And so the first is ls space dash ltrh space slash dev slash video star sign, and then hit enter. You can see it has, it says there's four different cameras here, but there's actually only two. So zero and one are one camera, and then two and three are the second camera. So this doesn't really tell us anything about the cameras. So there's actually a second way you can do this. And so you're gonna have to type in some things here. And so you need to type in sudo app-get space install space v4l-utils. Then hit enter. And so I've already installed it, so it's not installing. So for you, it will have installed. Then we're going to type in clear. And now we're just going to type in v412-ctl space dash dash list dash devices. And then hit enter. Oh, and you have to spell it right, so it's so it's actually v4l2-ctl space dash dash list dash devices and then hit enter. And here you can actually see, we can tell what the cameras are. So again, so one and two, they're actually the HP webcam that is built into the laptop. laptop. And then three and four are the USB camera. And you can see here it says USB right here. Uh, actually, it says USB up here too, but the when we actually do the program, it's uh, we have to add in USB support for the actual plug-in USB camera, not the one that's built into the uh, laptop. Then we're going to click on Motion Eye and click Run Image, and so container name is going to be Motion Eye. Restart policy always. We're going to leave it in bridge mode. Going to type in 8081. Hit the plus sign, and then 8765, hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to put in PUID and PGID. And for this, we're just going to put in zero because we need to be root in order to access our cameras. So next, we're going to hit slash and hit config. And so now we had to set up our container paths. So what we're going to do next is go to our network. And so this is the Elite Desktop. And so we're going to click on App Data. And so we're going to make a folder here. And we're just going to call this Motion. Close that. And then go to here. Go to Shared Folders, App Data. 
And then there's our motion eye, and we're going to click OK. Hit the plus sign. Hit the slash. So this is a folder that will store the videos and pictures from your motion eye. So we're going to go back to our network. Go up. We're going to go to media. And we're going to create a separate folder here. And just call this one motion eye. And you can close that. And so we go back here, shared folders. And then media and motion eye. Click OK and then hit the plus sign. OK, so for the next part, we need to do if you have any USB cameras, we have to enable them in the extra arguments. So we're going to type in dash dash device space slash dev slash slash bus slash USB. And that will let the USB hub be connected to the motion eye. Then we're going to do a space and we're going to put in those cameras that we found earlier. And so for us, it's dash dash device equals slash dev slash video zero colon slash dev slash video zero for the first one. And then dash dash device equals dev slash video two slash dev slash video two. Once we're done with that, we can click save. And now wait a few minutes for it to spin up. So next we're going to copy our IP address. Paste that there. And then we're going to put colon 8756. And so for this first login, you want to type in admin and then just log in. There is no password. And so you'll come to this screen and it says that you need to configure a camera. So we're going to click on add one. And so here you can see our two cameras have shown up. So first we'll do the embedded webcam. We'll click on OK. And there you can see the bottom of the shelf here and I'll move it so you can see more. And there you can see my arm. And so next we're going to add a, the second camera. And so that's our HD Pro webcam. Click OK. And there you can see the office. There's me. There is a slight delay in the response of the camera. So you won't automatically see it move right away. It takes a second or two. It is not real time. There's a second or two delay. So let's just go through some of these settings over here. These settings over here are for whatever camera is activated. And you can see just barely that this one is red and that's camera two. And that's over here on camera two. And so these just change the amount of columns that are in there. So if you have more than two cameras. Uh, and then you can change the rows if you have, again, more frame cameras, frame rates, resolution. Here's where you would set your admin password and your user password. Uh, I didn't mention when we logged in that you can log in as admin or user. When you log in as user, you just see the pictures and you can't change any of the other stuff on the side here. Again, there's the camera, uh, different things here, video streaming, there's nothing there. Still images, set that on. And so some of the things that you can change here are how long your pictures are saved for. We'll just say one month and then we'll go to movies. And same thing, if you have too many, it's going to fill up your hard drive. Last, we're going to go down to schedule here, and you actually have to turn that on to work. And so basically what you do is you turn that on for a day and then just click a time. And then it will record during that time. And then once you're done, hit apply. And so now those settings are saved. And so we just did camera two. You can see right there, camera two. So we would have to go back and do camera one. And, and to also do camera one, we would click on the wrench there. So after you have it running for a little while, you can actually go up here to these different things. So you can go to picture browser and it will show you the different pictures that it took. So there's from today. Here's from yesterday, not much going on last night after dark. Oh, there I am. 
And what you can do, you can either download those or you can click on them and you can see uh, who's in your picture. And just like picture browser, you can click on the mo movie browser and same idea. You can click on one. It does not show you the movie. It just shows you a picture from the movie. To actually watch the movie, you actually have to download it. And again, same thing on this one. This one's not quite as uh, interesting because it's below a shelf. This was, again, the camera that was on the laptop itself. And nothing really there. And yesterday, we see lots of dark. And there's me walking by the camera. And again, if we look at this one, again, you can see me walking by in the video picture. And then finally, uh, you can click on there. And when we click on the square here, it just goes to full screen and back. And to get the sidebar, you just click over there. So the question of the day is, what do you plan on using Motion Eye for? And you can leave that in the comments below. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And if you like this video, make sure you like it. Until then, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.